Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm your host and a dark side of the deceptive cadence, Ken Levine. I'm a singer and vocal coach here on YouTube and today we are looking at corn, a freak on a leash. But before we do that, I'd just like to remind you all to please remember to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell because I guess that's what we're supposed to do now all the time and I'm supposed to remind you of it. Okay, so welcome to the channel. This is where we analyze and scrutinize and rematerialize all of these fantastic vocalists that you've probably heard a hundred times. I actually, I think I've heard this song before. It's pretty darn popular. Looks like it's got 253 million views. Yeah, that's... That's pretty popular. All right. And I, yeah, we'll give it a shot and uh, we'll see if I can come up with anything intelligent to say. It would probably be the first time. All right. Here we go. I'm saying it before someone else says it. Okay. Three, two, one, go. All the kids in the cartoon world are leaving. They're taking off somewhere. Something takes a part of me. Security guard Something distracted. Obviously seen. watching YouTube videos and drinking Every coffee. Time I start to believe Something's raped and taken from me, from me. Here, kids, get off that precipice. Can't I chill and let me be free? Can't I take away all this pain? I try to every night, all in vain, in vain. Sometimes I cannot. Take no, this no. Ah, uh, okay. Wait, all right, okay. Is that an actual cartoon somewhere? Was that like something that somebody actually, <laughs> and they just sort of quoting it? Are they quoting it? Or is this, this is purpose built for this video? I, I can't taste. There goes the lava lamp. Going from that gritty shout, so popular. When was this first made? I can't remember. It looks like a 90s thing. Man and that sort of heavy vocal, false vocal fold, muscular action going into a lovely, sweet falsetto. Let's just have another listen to that. Is he wearing a kilt in this video? Wanting to make that noise just like um, Jonathan? Is it Jonathan, the lead singer? Ma na ma na na. Just remember the high laryngeal position. I call it the pharyngeal position for your larynx. It, that's what I call it. Um, it's just sort of eh, na 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 na. It's just kind of nasally and whiny and um, very. Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, not present, because. The word is, the word is, uh, bleaty. There it is. Yes, just like a goat. Whoa! 
What? That is an old cell phone. Does anyone ever remember owning one of those? Did you have one of those with the giant antenna on the top of it? What year is this? Whoa. This is, um... <laughs> I, I wonder if someone actually still has one of those kicking around. Not that one, obviously. It's gone. I remember this. Yes, this was on the radio a long time ago, and it's still probably still being played on radios all across the world. Whatever that sort of nonsense uh, mouth movement. It sound. You know what it reminds me of. <laughs> freaking cool it reminds me of um uh that sort of uh throat singing that uh, inuit throat singing where they you have the two uh singers a female vocalist and they they sort of uh do this sort of breathy in they sort of like inhale the same air i don't know how they do it but it creates this incredible sort of polyphonic sound uh so, so cool. If you have a chance to listen to it, you can probably check it out on YouTube. There's probably a ton of videos, but I think it's experiencing it live, there's it's kind of a really cool sonic trip. That's what this reminds me of. Uh, he's like a bullet charmer, like a snake charmer, only with his voice. He's do charming the bullet to go in all sorts of different directions. And the drummer's like, whoa, I got to keep the beat, but I can't keep my eyes off that thing. Back through the copy urn. So cool. I want to go back here. Uh, when he's really cutting loose. Boom, boom, boom. So many, the positionality of his larynx and the soft palate and all of those things come together as he's morphing and choosing to create all of these different sounds at the same time. Really, really cool. Um, I... I'm thinking back, just sort of picturing that cell phone, and I was like, probably nobody really ever heard anything quite like this back in the day. And I think that's it obviously had an impact and still having impact. People are still watching it. I'm watching it. No kung fu. I was just reminded of that moment where Neo dis discovers that he doesn't need to dodge bullets anymore. That's what that scene is from. Was this like 
Did this precede the Matrix? Matrix was 1999. Judging by that cell phone, I think this is pre-1999. <laughs> what is MC426660? No trespassing. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. It means something. Uh... Okay. Yes. Yes. Corn. Freak on a leash. That was astonishing. Great vocal display of um, just, I, I, I don't know, I, I don't know, I'm speechless. I, I want people to experience something like that and and understand that there's a level of vocal freedom that you need a technical finesse that you're trying to achieve, but also just energy. There's just so much energy watching them perform. I know it's just a video and lip synced and all that sort of stuff, but there's just sort of that, there's something driving that energy um, behind that uh, vocal, <laughs> the throat singing technique. I don't know what you call it. It's very cool and something to be learned from there. I, I kind of got jazzed about it. I was a little worried about the little girl at the beginning until, of course, at the very end, you figure out, oh, she can actually stop bullets just with her mind. Watch out for the little girls <laughs> who can shape reality with their mind. All right. Uh, yes. This is a good test. I like it. <clears throat> If you want to shape the reality of your voice with your mind, I think it's imperative that you reach out to a talented vocal coach. There might be one living in your neighborhood. That's the best way to learn one-on-one, -on -one, but it's not always possible. In today's day and age, you can certainly reach out to one of us in YouTube land. Um, there's no shortage of vocalists that will happily steer you in the direction of what your dreams and aspirations are. If you want to work with me, I'm one of those people. Uh, I will leave those links down below in the description. And of course, let me know your thoughts. Maybe you're a corn fan and did I get everything wrong and I know nothing and you want to educate me, you can leave those comments down below and hopefully um, I might be able to learn something from you talented folks out there in YouTube land. So, uh, we will leave it at that because I'm getting a little bit punchy. I'm not really sure if I did a good job on this one or not. But we will leave it at that and we will see you. Oh yeah, before we do that, I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Um, make sure you subscribe. Just because it's a good thing to do. And if you're not subscribed... If you are not subscribed already, please consider joining this fabulous community. Thank you so much for joining us, and we will see you next time.